what do you want to see in Cleveland's parks? What's good, what's bad, and what really needs work? Yeah, the city has big plans and wants to hear it all. Our Stephen Hernandez tells you how you can participate in some open houses this week for input. Angela Farrell runs a senior exercise course at the Zelma Watson George Rec Center. She has some thoughts on how the parks can improve. There's a lot of events that goes on, but a lot of the seniors don't know anything about it. Looking for a better way to get the information out to seniors so that they feel safe in the parks. The mayor's office of capital projects is hosting open houses throughout the city for anyone to share their thoughts. This has never been done before, so we're really interested to engage as many folks as possible to hear their ideas. The open houses are just the start of a larger 15 year plan to reimagine the city's parks and rec centers. At the end of the master plan, we'll have an idea of not just how much we expect to spend on the whole thing, but how we plan to do that over the years. Yeah. The city's ready for a large response, but it depends on how many people participate. So that could be hundreds of people, maybe thousands of people. Um, we're having these open houses, um, in-person events. Hopefully we have hundreds of people that show up. It could be five people, it could be 500. There will be a total of four open houses this week, one tomorrow, two on Thursday, including one here at the Zelma Watson George Rec Center, and also one on Saturday at the South Branch of the Cleveland Library. If you can't make it in person, you can fill out an online survey by visiting cleeparksrecplan.com. It may take the city up to 18 months to come up with a master plan once they receive the city's input, but for now, Farrell is also offering a little more advice. Restrooms need to be improved. You know, you want to go into a restroom and feel comfortable, but above all, it has to smell good. In the Zelma Watson George Rec Center, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.